okay good day guys you welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer and in case you're joining us for the first time i'd like that you use the like button and you subscribe to this channel and that's a means of encouraging us to do more as we've always done and today i'm here to give you a very nice tutorial and um, it's on how to generate a uh, bar bending schedule using proto structure how you can generate your bar bending schedule automatically using proto structure right so this is a project that has been completed already and before you can get to all this stage you must have exhausted our videos on the channel and you would be able to get yourself safely and correctly up to this point right so to generate your bar bending schedule since this is product structure itself then we are done where we don't have any business here we are done here so what you just do next is you go down to drawings and report drawings and report now on this tab you see product details and all other things but what we want to do now is to click on product details then it will load the product details itself and we are being transported from product structure down to product details because we are done we have done our modeling our designs our analysis all that we need to do on product structure has been done so we just want to generate our bar bending schedule from product details now this is product details interface now when we get here we are going to start by creating a new drawing we want to create a new drawing okay so having done this every um of your elements that is carrying reinforcement or anywhere that you want to produce its bar bending schedule um that is where we want to really work with now so for example i want to get for my beams right i don't know so we'll just right click on this you drop beams elevations right so when you click on drop beam elevation you have this box pop up now this insert quantity table is where we are going that is where we have our bar bending schedule so if you don't click this you would not have your bar bending schedule but once you tick it yeah automatically you'll be having your bar bending schedule okay so let's draw and see what it looks like hold on please okay let's draw and see what it looks like Okay. So I encourage you to like and subscribe this video to this video and also to this channel so that you can always grab all our contents as soon as they drop. Okay now um having done this, these are all our beams for that particular story one, right? So but then what we want to do is concerning the bar bending schedule now you see this thing that has been attached to this template this this particular detail here you see beam elevations quantity takeoff for stories one right so in this um table you have your bar bending schedule right so all the reinforcements their sizes their quantities the length the weight the unit weight and everything is done already automatically right so all the reinforcement that is contained in your designs would be accounted for on this sheet right already automatically so here you have the number beam number you have the um, the bar mark rather not beam number the bar mark sorry the bar mark then you have 
the sizes of your reinforcement that is the diameter of your reinforcement y16 y10 y16 y16 and all of that you have the quantity of reinforcement that you have in that particular section 3 one zero one two six two three and all the length of each of them you have it and the total now you see this is showing to you um the crank length and also the straight length of your bar this also is showing to you how the links will be prepared um, how the shape code is and all of that and the same way the remaining is done this is a straight bar two to four zero right so this one has provided you all that you need on this um, bar and the schedule report and also there is something um, I will show you so after it is done with all this analysis uh, analyzing each of the uh, bars for you it comes and compile everything the total length of your y10 is this the total length of your y16 is this then the unit width of your y10 is 0.617 and y16 the unit width is 1.580 right so multiplying the two of them will give you the, to the total weight in kilogram in kilogram so adding all the quantities that you have here will give you the total weight now this total weight is the one that we will not take to the market that will take to uh, purchase reinforcement right so that is um, how we generate the reinforcement bar or bar bending schedule on product structure so the same way for this sheet also all the bars in this sheet also have been scheduled in this table all the reinforcement bars in this sheet also have been scheduled in this table the same way the reinforcement bars here have been scheduled in this table and this also in this in this table right so if we want to take this as a case study to explain better you see that we have bar mark one and bar mark three for this beam beam d so you see that you have bar mark one and bar mark three as to the um, length top and bottom this is bottom this is top bar right this is the bottom bar and this is the top bar that is the tension and the compression reinforcement so we have uh, our O2 we want to check what is the O2 you see that the O2 is now the stirrups is the links the stirrups so you have just the three of them in this we have one being this bottom you have three being the top and two be the link so you see that it has compiled this one here we have three y16 and we have this three is the bar mark like i said to you the quantity of that reinforcement is two two of y16 if you go back there you see that we just have um, three y16 okay of three three y two y16 of bar mark three right so we have two numbers of y16 diameter bar right with the bar mark three but on this one we have three numbers of y16 mm bars of bar mark one okay so let's go there and check so we have three y16 of bar mark one two y16 of bar mark three right so and for the links we have 32 numbers of the links so that's how we got about all of these um, details then multiply by the unit weight we have the total weight that we take to the market to purchase the reinforcement so that's exactly how to work out your bar bending schedule for your project using prota structure if you have any question any comments you can always use the comment section i will be there always to answer to you i am joshua the designer i encourage you to always subscribe as a first timer or as one who makes contact with any of our videos use the subscribe button and like our videos also share with your colleagues that should get better with structural engineering we'll meet very soon in the next video bye